so day two of the festival and uh, that was an interesting day the day one was pretty predictable and uh, everything was flowing fairly nicely uh, day two was not like that at all <laughs> so that leaves a really open question as to what on earth day three is going to be like will it be like day one day two or nothing like either of them but i think it's uh, quite useful that you saw that video from yesterday because i was saying to you look i'm you know because i've had a really really good day i'm not going to take that energy and enthusiasm and let it spill over into day two because it's a classic mistake that lots of people make you know people are test and try systems they find something that works uh, they increase stakes and it's at that point that the whole thing falls apart um, and that's just the way that markets work i'm talking about all markets here not just the ones that were uh, attempting to trade here and you know overconfidence is just as bad a thing as lack of confidence because you know it could be that you just happen to fluke something and you know if you keep your stakes or you have a progressive staking system then you tend to find that that's the best way to move forward even if it's slow you know it's so tempting if you have a really good day to sort of think you know i have this completely sussed i know exactly what i'm going to do and i'm going to you know, do it 10 times bigger because it's at that point that you uncover a flaw or you know the things just don't work out the way they do and then suddenly you know you've lost more than you made on the first day so yeah you know first day fantastic second day um a bit tougher and uh, my response to that was really just to sort of pull back stakes just be a little bit more gentle not be as aggressive as i was on day one but necessarily that meant that i earned less but earning less is much better than you know really messing the whole thing up horrendously but it was an interesting day i mean i we saw a lot of moves that uh, were quite unexpected so the first race went off and was fine and there were no sort of particular problems and then we had um carlingford lock in the second race that uh just sort of came in came in came in um bottomed a bit and then just went and uh, you know sort of went up there somewhere <laughs> disappeared off into the distance and that was a bit of a surprise, you know, especially when you consider China markets are more liquid than other markets. Really, you know, they should have just that little bit more stability, but we didn't see it in that race. Um, and then we went on to uh, the next race, and it was Bailey Green um, at that point that uh, flatlined for ages and then just drifted off as though it was part of gravity. <laughs> the film Gravity I'm talking here, you know, it went off into space. And, uh, and then we had the opposite at uh, four o'clock when Big Shu uh, was getting backed in heavily. So you could see on the graph, um, you know, the prices, boom, it was, it was really aggressive money coming from. Um, and then to top it all at um, 20 to 5, 1640, um, we had Dawalam. Dawalam, have I said that correctly? I don't know. And um, that was backed like something I've never seen backed before at Chatham. I did tweet and... Uh, mentioned this at the time on the thread in the forum but uh, it was quite amazing to see how heavily backed it was and you know i hadn't expected that and i'm sure lots of other people hadn't expected it as well but it was a big surprise just to see how much money came for that and the how aggressive the money was but i also think that um you know they, these markets should be able to stand up to that you know there's lots of money flowing through these markets big amounts on either side and yet we still saw some pretty crazy moves yesterday i think for a market like Chelton. So, you know, inevitably that brings up those questions of why are we seeing that? But that's something I'll attempt to look at and answer myself um, when I've got all the data in front of me at the end of the meeting. But, uh, you know, it was a very interesting day, very, very different from Tuesday. And, you know, I don't know at this stage what Thursday, Friday are going to be like. But, you know, that's part of the skill of trading is being adaptable. So, you know, I could say to you, well, this is what I expect to happen in this market. You know, there are lots of things I can forecast. I can forecast how much money a market's going to do, how much will be traded on the favourite, when that money will arrive, and roughly where the things are going to trade and how they're going to trade. But the problem is you can only use that as a guide. When you actually come to the market, you have to look at it and say, well, is it acting exactly the way that I expect it to? And if it is, then you proceed. And if it isn't, then you can proceed with a bit more caution. So, yeah, you know, my response to the markets yesterday, you know, you saw the previous day and that big result. And I was able to do that throughout the day uh, with the odd exception. Um, yesterday, I didn't feel particularly comfortable. So I just pulled back my activity, my level of aggression in the market. 
and kept stakes at a much more uh, reasonable level. So I did okay. I actually profited on every single race yesterday. I didn't have a single loss, but I didn't make as much as I did on the first day. Um, but that's fine. Um, I would rather do that than go overboard and pretty much guarantee a loss. And, you know, we move into today and I can look at the card today and say, well, this is an interesting card and we should expect some interesting stuff from it. But when I arrive there, then, you know, I'll quickly make a judgment at that point about how things are going and whether we're seeing what we need to see. So, yeah, interesting day, day two. And uh, hopefully we'll have an interesting day for the right reasons on day three. If you're interested in learning more about BetAngel, its tools and the opportunities they present, why not visit BetAngel.com today to download a free trial?